Got one watching. Sorry, I hope the um, connection is okay. One watching. Don't know who that is. Keisha, hello. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining me on this. I've got stacking and prepping here. Thank you very much. I'm not sure exactly how busy this is going to be. Potter Jam is here. Hey, Potter Jam, how you doing? Haven't seen you for a while. I thought we'd um, would do this one live for a change. Normally, I just do a video of it. I've started to try and maybe look at um, doing these live. I've got finders, finders, keepers. How are you? How's everyone doing? School is killing me. Potter Jam says. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I remember my my days in school, buddy. I couldn't wait till I was finished. Oh, we've got 10 people in the chat already. Fantastic. we got nine. Who else do we have? David Carlisle. David Carlisle. Sheffield, Stephen Heath. Limey Vision. Greeting. <laughs> Greetings, buddy. How are you? How, how are you keeping today? I just thought, um, I was just saying there to the guys in the chat, normally I do a recording of this but i thought hey you know let's do a live version of this and see how we get on talk about um, the silver spot price see what you guys you know general talk about silver and uh, we see where we go yeah i am i am i'm fairly well actually i'm i'm off for the next uh, couple of working days which is great so i've got tomorrow off which gives me enough time to um finish off with the coin to coin series for the for the year we're gonna we'll carry on with that uh, next year so it gives me plenty of time to look at that and then um, i've got monday off as well so you know it, it'll it'll be good uh let's have a look any uh let's have a look nate gates is also here Th um, hey nate gates how are you how are you keeping let's see stacking and prepping also saying hello to everybody fantastic yeah look um are you guys familiar with the uh, talking talking spot where we i basically give you an update um, on the spot price and we have a look at the spot price deals that are out there <laughs> yeah that's uh that's my favorite that always tends to appear um i'm sure stephen stephen he's got a few nice 10 ounces oh stephen heath give it a break with you <laughs> well um one thing to always note generally whenever i live stream or do videos my wife isn't my wife isn't here so um, yeah, my wife is. My wife tends to be working. Uh, do you have a link to that coin? I can put a link in there. Uh, just give me one minute. I'll take a quick look for you. Yeah, this is a ten ounce. Yeah, that's what the back of it looks like. It's got a value of ten pounds. Oddly enough, um, what a strange. It would have been nice to see a higher value, really. Ten pounds. Um, technically, it should be twenty pounds because each ounce um is two pounds so technically 10 ounces should be 20 uh, should be 20 pounds uh yeah just give me a sec there um stacking and prepping and i'll bring it up for you big bank little bank um he just arrived now hey man how are you how are you keeping we got 14 watching him which is fantastic i wasn't expecting um a big turnout that tends to be during the week it tends to it tends to be quite slow we've got silver turtle 65 hey buddy how are you let's have a look um it's a beautiful coin thank you very much i'll tell you what let's um silver turtle let's um i'm going to put the description i was going to put the uh this is where i bought my coin from i'll put it in the link there it's up to you obviously this is just to view the coin um just bear with me a sec I'll put the link there just so you can take a look if you want to. Right, so I'm going to drop the link in and just in case you want to have a look. Uh, just bear with me a sec. Uh, that's the that's the link. Um, if you guys want to click on it, that's where I, where I bought the coin from. To ha have a look if you want to there, stacking and prepping for, uh, for the information on it. Stephen, he says, I've noticed I'm the only one who has hit the like button. Well, I've got six likes here, apparently. Six likes, we're building up. We've got 16 people watching, which is great. So what do you guys think of the silver price at the minute? It's very interesting indeed. Uh, 
Well, we're going to have a look at some charts now, or a chart anyway, and we're going to take a look and see what the silver price is up to. And I am frankly quite surprised. I don't know, maybe if we've... Does anyone think we've actually hit bottom? Obviously, I've been uh, keeping an eye on it every week. Um, Stacking Pepper says, funny how silver is up, but gold is down. You know, it's it's kind of strange as well. Whenever whenever gold goes up, gold goes up by dollars, and silver goes up by cents. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the for instance, the silver price is up by one euro cent. Well, that's probably about a dollar twenty. Uh, sorry, not a dollar twenty. One cent, uh, and uh, well, let, let let's just call it one cent for the sake of things. Keep things simple. But yeah, the gold price is down. A euro sixty four. That's probably around two dollars. So strangely enough, the gold always goes up in dollars, and the cents see the moves. That's uh, right, silver always moves in cents. Let's make sure we're on. Uh... Hey, the gambler after dark is here. Hey, the gambler, you keeping well? Mary loves in the uh, in the house as well. Thank you very much for joining me. That's great. We're up to sixteen watching. So I'm just going to go back and just check the chat. Devil Devil Carlos has hit the like button. Thanks for that. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we're pretty much caught up. Let's just check. Um, I think uh, once the trade deal working. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the gambler after dark does a lot of uh, scratches. In case you guys, uh, I've been up. Uh, I generally go there to go and have a look. I haven't been there for a few days now. Um, I hope you don't mind the gambler, <laughs> uh, but um, I must definitely pop in and see how you do. And he does scratches. Um, um, live as well and does recordings. I find them quite interesting, but uh, definitely worth a look if you want to. Southside Stacker, how did I miss? Well, it's more like what did you miss? Um, but yeah, strangely enough, everyone seems to be having notification problems. If you think about it, um, I've been having notification problems. Someone's video pops up, I don't get a reminder. Stacking and prepping was saying that they don't see the notifications. I, I presume that's probably with the majority of the people here. I suspect. Uh, let's have a look. Kevin Rose. Hey, Kevin Rose. How you doing, buddy? Uh, it was Kevin's birthday on my 500 gore and he won uh, the half dollar. Um, so I, I need to get it in the post, which will probably be tomorrow. But uh, awesome. Thanks for joining me. Yeah? Right. So we're going to take a look at the charts. So I did say I would do this. So as we can see, silver's tracking rather nicely at the minute. So that's pretty much when I started um, this whole uh, series. We were around just under fourteen dollars, or fourteen. I think that's euros actually. Well, no, no, it is. It is actually dollars. Beg your pardon. Current spot price. Look at that. Fourteen dollars seventy-three five cents. Uh, that's why if we have a look here, tracking really nicely. Look at that. So if anyone, if anyone bought at around fourteen, fourteen dollars uh, to an ounce, look at where you are now. Fourteen seventy-three. So technically, in a matter of where are we? Almost a month? Actually, practically a month. It's gone up by 75 cents, which I find very interesting. But look how much it's dropped and it's going up and it's dropped. So you've got a lot of selling, buying, selling, buying, selling, buying, selling. And then it just tends to shoot up there, which is interesting enough. So more than likely, that's probably the the situation in the world currently at the minute, which is um, causing people to maybe be of concern. And they're obviously looking at buying precious metals. But interesting how silver's gone up nicely. I wonder if it's going to hit $15. My estimate was that it was going to get to $15 by the end of the year. And it's not far off. Look at that. 28, uh, 28 cents off. Um, what do you guys think? Let's have a look. Just double check the chat here. Ozarks here. Hey, Ozarks. How, how are you doing? Uh, what's up? Southside Stacker, um, how are you doing? Is that expensive, Nick Kate says. I'm not sure who's, who he's talking to there. Um, Ozarks, I'm good, man. My lady and I rigged it so that we could have small dinner. <laughs> John RMS is here. Hey, John, how you doing? Yeah, John just recently uploaded a video there. I haven't had a time to have a look at it. Um, guys, if you haven't been to John RMS, go check his channel out. Um, and then we've got... Stacking and prepping as well. They've just started with a, uh, a couple show, 
with um, Talking Bullion, if you guys haven't checked that out. That was pretty good. I watched the replay the other night. Silver Turtle says, uh, once the deal uh, gets made with China, our government will want to push down the dollar. Well, obviously, dollar weakness increases the price of precious metals. So when dollar is high, precious metals are low. Yeah, so um, I think uh, I'd I'd want to see this going up, um, personally. I know a lot of people want it, want it low, uh, so they can keep buying. Like at some point, it's got to it's got to it's got to move up. Sheffield um, Stephen Heath says eleven pound sixty nine for silver. I don't deal in monopoly dollars. <laughs> well, like uh, Stephen, I thought I'd just keep it, uh, you know, kind of straightforward. You know, I don't have to keep shuffling between euros and, and pounds and dollars. I thought I'd just keep it at dollars. You can work out the uh, the exchange rate. <laughs> um, Nate, uh, Nate Gates going. Thanks uh, for dropping in, Nate Gate. Uh, we got David, uh, David Bowling. Got to work. Uh, can't hang out. Have a great day, everyone. Uh, thumbs up given. Thanks, David. Cheers, buddy. Southside Stacker. Just chatting to everybody as usual. Yeah, that will make uh, exports cheaper and metals will soar. Correct. Obviously, when the when the dollar's low, your exports uh, you're exporting um, you're exporting more, if that makes sense. Uh, and then yeah, I really hope that it goes down to thirteen dollar range. See, the problem uh, pre uh, stacking and prepping is whenever it's reached this this mark here, which is around fourteen dollars, it doesn't break it for long. So. When it's when it's and that means it's a it's a key support level. Uh, key support level means that it will not get uh, well. It for something it would have to be a major event in order for it to drop down below the um, the support level, which is right over here. So it's been pretty steady. It's been trying to break through that fourteen barrier. It can't get through. Um, so personally, I I mean, if you look at where we are here and where it is there, it's taken us nearly a month just to get to that level there. Um, so, you know, the last time it was up at that level, it was the 2nd of November and we've already gone ahead we've already gone above that, which basically means that the last time we hit that level was around here, which was August. It's a very nice rally. And I'm certainly not going to say and call it a bull run currently at the minute. We'll have to see how it pans out. Maybe wait another week and see how things go. Yes, that will make exports cheaper. Okay, metal metals as well. I really hope uh, that it goes uh, down to thirteen dollars. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, Second purposes. Do you think that because precious metals have been going up, it's uh, cause for the crypto to drop a little? What's your thoughts? Um, <laughs> you know, I really don't want to get into uh, crypto. It's it's we're talking about spot today, which. Um, isn't related to crypto, but um, now to answer your question, um, I doubt it. It's just because of the bear market currently in crypto that the prices are uh, are, are down. Um, more than that, yeah, I expect that to swing back up uh, probably within the first quarter of next year. Um, but um, yeah, uh, <laughs> side, side stacker says, lol, here we go. Um, let's have a look. Mary Love says, uh, beer goes, uh, beer goes metals sorry beer goes up metals go down <laughs> uh crypto crap again right that's south side stacker for you um i came beeping uh it says hey bro uh, came beeping thanks very much for joining us uh david carlisle you know it's, it's strangely um uh, eerie that the same people are here <laughs> compared to the last time we had that live chat. So uh, I'm not going to be getting into crypto, but thanks, guys. I hope that answered your question there, stacking and prepping. Um, I do feel like crypto and precious metals will follow one another. Um, however, it'll take slightly longer for us, for, for precious metals to, to, to pick up momentum. Uh, at least that's my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, by the way, everybody. I'm sure you guys know that by now. Um, uh, I'm not really giving financial advice. That's exactly what I think. Uh, and we're just having a look at some charts here. Let's have a look. Um, Ozarks, yeah, I'm very well on yourself. Um, it's not too bad. The time is currently 25 minutes past seven um, in the evening. Um, if you guys can put where you're from as well, that'll be fantastic. 
Uh, not necessarily where you're from, but where you live. That'll be great. Just so you guys know. So we got Montana. That's Kevin Rose. Um, obviously Dublin there. Uh, Silver Turtle says USA. He's not a financial advisor. He's a crypto lackey. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be payback because of what I said in your last videos outside. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, sorry, just having some fun. Um, let's say we got New York. Uh, Southside Stack says New Jersey. Um, obviously, Sheffield, <laughs> EPNS. Um, he says Sheffield, obviously. Alabama. Jevin Brainer. Hey, everyone. I'm in Las Vegas. That's fantastic. Uh, Mary Love, obviously laughing at Southside. Uh, hey, Jevin, thanks for joining us here. Uh, we're just having a look. This is normally my series where I do videos on the spot price, hence why we're talking spot. And then I uh, we have a look to see if there's any spot deals going. Um, VC Coins is here. VC Coins, how are you doing? It's great to see you here. Has anyone got any um, any goals in regards to where they'd like silver to be? Um, have you guys reached your silver target? You don't have to tell me what it is, but have you reached your target of um, bullion that you wanted to have by the end of the year? Hey, VC, um, VC Coins Nevada. Thanks for, thanks for dropping in, buddy. I'm going to have the uh, the last coin to coin series is going to be well for the year is going to be tomorrow. So um, and then we'll, we'll continue in the new year. Um, also got a few new ideas for the Continental Challenge as well, because we'll have to do the season two of Continental Challenge soon. Uh, Stephen, he says, I've broken my silver target. Wow, that's great. Um, well, uh, I obviously meant it as a joke. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. We've got stacking prepping says we reached our target in six months around 100 ounces. Wow. Okay. That's fantastic. Uh, I personally have reached my target for the year, which is great. Uh, let's have a look. Kevin Rose says closer to $18 range and no, I haven't reached uh, my goal yet. Okay. So uh, Kevin sent himself a nice range there at $18. Uh, what will you do when it reaches 18, Kevin? Are you, are you a, um, are you looking at uh, buying and selling short or uh, are you hoping to go long? Obviously, when you reach your 18. Uh, what are your thoughts on silver? Do you think um, it's going to go up or how long it's going to uh, how long it's going to go up? It'll be great to get some uh, some of your uh, feedback there. I've never been to Vegas either. Mary Love, the only city I've been to in America is San, San Francisco. Um, let's have a look. Week is going good, bro. That's fantastic. VC, I've been meaning to message you. Are you in Las Vegas? Okay, VC, that's Jevin. That's what we got. Uh, Kevin Rose, uh, keep stacking, uh, but just like when it gains value. Yeah, uh, for me, I like it when I see, um, you know, value, um, or should I say the my silver that I bought. It's always nice to appreciate it when it starts to go up. But I mean, majority of some of the, the stuff I have is also numistic as well, which is great to see those values go up. Um, I mean, like the, this, the uh, the Dragon uh, two ounce um, Queen's Bee series. This I bought at thirty eight euros. It's now up for fifty one. So that's pretty much shot up by about thirteen euros. There was another fella on um, who was on YouTube. He bought like loads. He bought like he had like a hundred ounces of the Griffins. He had a hundred ounces of these. Oh, sorry, he had a hundred um, two ounce Griffin pieces. And uh, these are just stupid money. Um, I think they're about $73 or something like that. Or they could be 73 euros now. One of the two. Um, oh, uh, sh Stephen E says, not a joke. Uh, I've gone over my target. Well, over. That's great. Well, like, uh, for me, I'm just trying to save up some money for next year um, to stack some more, stack some more silver. Um, what do you guys think of the 2019 Maple Leaf? 
Any different to the 2018 Maple Leaf? <laughs> oh, Kevin Rose, let's have a look. Keep stacking. Absolutely. Um, I think by the middle of 2019, we will see 20 per ounce. That's interesting. Um, if if I look at the movements in the last month, it's, in the last month, it's taken nearly a dollar in the last in the last month. So could possibly be. Um, I wouldn't rule that out, stacking and prepping. So, so Stacker says, I think 11 bucks is fair and reflective of the market. I disagree. Um, Jeff and Brenner, damn, I was hoping uh, we could work on a couple of videos and pause together. Um, okay, I'm not sure what he's referring to. I bought around 60 ounces since September. Wow, that's great. Kevin Rose, um, I want to leave my son's wealth, not riches. Very true. Um, Southside says less spots. Um, Silver Turtle sixty five, got to go, guys. Thanks very much, Silver Turtle sixty five, for joining, for joining us here. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, we've got um, Kevin Rose says I think they're all cool. I like the maples, especially the real ones. Especially the real ones, oh, as opposed to fake. Oh, I didn't know you get fake maple leaves. Um, Stephen E says watch Regal Stacker. Yeah, that I think that was the fella. Yeah, it was Regal Stacker. He got a whole. I mean, what did he get? Like seventy five. Uh, Griffins, and he like poured them out, just uh, emptied the whole lot there, stacked them up. Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean that would have been that wouldn't have been a bad idea if I'd known. Probably when I first started stacking, that would but that would would have been a great buy. Um, Southside so Stacker says uh, you are a troublemaker. Oh, sorry, <laughs> stacking and prepping to Southside Stacker. <laughs> Did you go to the principal's office a lot? Oh, here we go. Uh, I didn't even say anything. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's outside. Um, Stephen Heath says, as has anybody seen the 2019 ASC? <laughs> and has it changed? <laughs> well, funny enough, it's the same with the Maple Leaf. Uh, the, the Maple Leaf design, this is an Incuse version. Sorry, I'm going to turn the light around. This is the Incuse, which I absolutely love. Um, although um, Southside Stacker will probably say that probably looks cartoony, something like that. A hairstyle that so looks cartoony or something like that. I don't know. Does it look cartoony, um, Southside? <laughs> uh, I'm getting uh, Southside Stacker says I'm getting in trouble for future crimes. Yeah, her hair, her, her hair looks cartoony for sure. There you go. Um, yeah, there's the ASEs. These are, well, I've got a, five ounces of ASEs. Got the Heraldic Eagle there. And the Walking Liberty on the back. Lovely. 2018. Yeah, I'd be interested to see if they, uh, if they change the design <laughs> of the, um, ASE at some point. I don't know if there's much of a call for it, um, other guys. Southside Stack is irrelevant, Limey. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys think uh, the ASC needs to be changed? Yeah, sorry guys, we're going to have a look at the cheapest spot deals while we're here as well. Now, um, when this was recorded, it recorded the spot price at $14.84, which is great. It's stronger than where it is now. We've got two spot deals going at the minute. So we've got the Silver Gold Bull 10 ounce Silver Bar, which they've been running for quite some time. But compared to last week, there wasn't any spot deals. So we've got that one there. And also BGASC is also running a spot price deal on a 5 ounce Silver Bar. Um quantity for free shipping so you have to buy 68 five ounce bars to get free shipping interesting um otherwise you get free shipping by the looks of it on that 10 ounce bar let's take a look buy gold and silver coins there we go that's the uh silver town bar it says limits one per order they're obviously running that again Read offer details, mm -hmm. small print, probably shipping. Offer details, get a new mint sealed five ounce silver bar at spot. Simply add it to your order and pay by paper check. Oh, $300 order minimum. 
Well, does that make sense to you? Standard shipping rate may apply. Limits one per order. No household limit. No household limit, but it says one per order. Okay. Um, offer valid for online orders only. So what, do you need to spend $300 first? God, honestly. Um, Sarsai Stacker says the classic AOC should remain. Um, well, Kev Kevin Rose would love to see Betty White on a coin. <laughs> <laughs> ASC needs a variant, something with some anti-counterfeiting measures, uh, counterfeiting measures, and laser engraving. Yeah, um, that would be interesting. Yeah, I'd like to. Well, wouldn't mind seeing something like that. DB Stupid says uh, changing it kind of undermines the purpose of owning it. Um, well, I mean, I suppose look at some of the bullion coins out there. You've got the Somali elephants. You've got the kookaburra. Um, they change the uh, the designs. Um, on a yearly basis, uh, the koalas, that sort of thing, they change them, which makes them very interesting. And maybe from a collectible perspective as well. Um, uh, cheap silver deals, uh, Southside Stacker, uh, Stacker ears have picked up. <laughs> <laughs> um Stephen Heath Lull, you, you, you already know it. Phil Guy, 316, hey buddy. Says, I lost again. Yeah, that's right, he missed out on an opportunity there for a live stream win. Uh, for you guys that, I, I think Kevin Rose was there, that, um, the random picker, oh my lord. If you guys use the random picker and you're using it for live streams, um, it's hilarious. Um, I think full push medals came, name came up twice, one after the other. So immediately I clicked on the next winner. I was um, choosing to pick another winner. Full push medals was already on. He wasn't in the, the live stream. Pressed it again, and his name came up, came up again. I mean, so much for random. Um, DP Stupid says AAC owns the title of the most recognised changer. To be honest with you, it owns the title for Continental Challenge. So uh, clearly, um, it's a very recognisable and clear winner as far as the Continental Challenge um, goes. Uh, Stephen E says rigged. Uh, well, when you've got 80% of your viewers are from America, I mean, I can't, I can't help that. Conjector says, hey, Southside Stacker. Uh, field Guy 316 can't lose this time. <laughs> Rigged challenge. <laughs> Right, just back to the, uh, the the spot deal. So we're back at, uh, have a look at the silver gold bull. We're going to have a look at the silver gold bull price. Here we go. What's this Christmas? Amazing discounts, all silver collectibles, 20% off jewellery. I don't know what the heck that is all about, but anyway. Here we go. This is the 10-ounce bar that you can get at spot, and it's got free shipping as well, um, according to the set, the site here. You get a 10-ounce bar at spot. That's if you pay by Bitcoin. Bitcoin, guys, look at that, a bit of crypto. Or wire transfer or check. Interesting. So those are the spot deals currently available at the minute. So we've got the silver gold bull 10 ounce bar. That's available at spot. And the five ounce silver bar at spot is available. Um, from buy gold and silver coins and silver gold bull. I'll put the details in the description at the end of the live stream. So if you guys want to check those out, you can. And uh, let's have a look and see how the charts are doing. There we go. Silver's current, still currently around the 1474 mark, 1475 or 1473. Um, so it's battling out to try and get above that. Let's have a look at the technicals. Technicals are saying buy. Um, so if you guys have ever had a look at the technicals, there's also what's nice about this site, tradingview.com is that some guys can put up their views as well. So they'll give you an idea of where they think silver is going. So for instance, this fella here says it's going to be hurtling down first and then it's going to shoot up. Um, uh, Long-term outlook on silver monthly. Uh, it's really good. If you have a look at the technicals, this gives you a breakdown of um, the amount of people saying buy. So for instance, if you choose on the daily, um, people are saying buy it on the daily. 
You've got strong buy on the moving averages, which is great. That means consistently ahead, more than likely silver is going to be going up, which is what I want to see. It'll also give you an idea of what, pe what people are saying, when to buy and when to sell. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'll put it in the uh, description there, tradingview.com. And don't forget about those cheap or the lowest, no, closest spot deals. Well, let me go back to the chat and see what I've missed. If I've missed anything. Um, let's have a look. Uh, up to the rigged pass. Yep, there you go. Um uh, sounds It's so rigged, according to Con Collector. Well, you know, when you're a man of taste, um, you'll recognize uh, quality when you see it. <laughs> Limey Hills, 12 other accounts voted for ASC. Oh, you liar. You liar. Oh, how could you say that? Discredit me. Yeah, keeping the classic and uh, issuing something new is two different coins. I would be fine with the US Mint putting out as many designs as it wants. That's DB Stupid. Uh, CoinClick says, OMG, not crypto again. Yeah, we're not talking about crypto. This is the talking, uh, talking spot. Um video so we're going to be talking spot and here he goes with oh for goodness sake you guys are bringing up the crypto i've barely said two words jeez gotta go see now you're chasing people away you're chasing my viewers away guys uh, coin collectors buggering off to back to where where he's going to gotta go cheers coin collector thanks buddy um uh, says uh okay stacking and prepping says coin collector crypto better than gold and silver I traded all my silver in and bought crypto. Wow. Now, I you said you'd reached your 100 ounce target. I, uh, I'm i not sure if that is honest. Uh, Field Guy 316 says silver is way too low. A few years ago, it was like 22 to 26 range. Um, VC Coins Nevada says I just bought 10 of the run runners. You know, I, was, I came so close to buying those run runners, uh, but unfortunately, the premiums are just too high here. Um, my friend uh, stacking and prepping's organizing me some silver rounds uh, that he's gonna. He's just waiting for them to come in. Uh, what's the update on those silver rounds, um, stacking and prepping? Um, hopefully by tomorrow it might get to you, and then you can bang him in the post. Um, somebody cut this man's <laughs> Southside stacker limey time and time again has lies to his constituents. <laughs> oh man um <laughs> i agree what you agree with this guy i'm shocked uh southside stacker i'm voting for the lack of confidence in online me <laughs> uh what is my lack of confidence or what what is it that you uh, you uh you think i am not confident in mr southside stacker we can't let him lead our party anymore. <laughs> See, he just laughs it off. No respect. <laughs> well, um, Southside. Um, hey, I'm a I'm a respectful guy. I listen to anybody. If anybody has a view, I'll listen to him. I'll respond to him. No issues. Depends what you're referring to. I'm still clueless as to why you think uh, I'm either misleading people or lying to people, which I know is complete nonsense um you're just here to taint the uh the chat <laughs> you are so gonna get it in the next chat but you do realize that the amount of fire you are setting right now <laughs> oh it's time to write teasers to, to the 1922 committee oh god St a, um a stephen heath that confidence vote was a complete Personally, I, I thought that was a big setup. She delayed the vote in the Commons. They called for a vote on her confidence. She won the vote on her confidence. Now they can't get her out for 12 months. And then what? Now she's going to have the vote. But I personally think she did that on purpose. Um, Theresa May is not on, on, on my good list of people. Uh, VC Coins uh, Nevada says, I also bought 10 Indian head rounds. That's spot. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Well, wherever you bought them from, now he threatens me. <laughs> What's up with the caps, buddy? Hey, eh? you're lucky. Uh, 
Nightbot's not around. Um, you'll be getting warnings. Uh, DB Stupid, anybody know of, uh, of of easy reference guides to sovereign gold coins, weights? Um, that is true. Um, I don't know I don't know where you could get that from. Probably the Royal Mint. You're probably better off having a look at the Royal Mint site. Uh, Stephen E says, she's an arse. Thank you very much. Um, never liked her. Um, never liked her attitude. <laughs> to be honest, um, frankly, you know, she just doesn't want to... She, uh, she just doesn't want to go. Um, she's sticking to her guns. Fair play to her for, you know, being like that. But uh, I think it's counterproductive. Um, also, that negotiation was a complete joke in regards to the Brexit... Um, the way Brexit negotiation went. Oh, that backstop thing. No, um, you'd, you'd have to you'd have to have your head checked if you were going to vote for that. Uh, Celsius Decker says, "Yeah." Uh, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, and oh, yeah, she's an ass. Um, hey, off to work. Yeah, thanks, Kevin Rose, for dropping in, buddy. Take it easy. Have a great day. Well, my day's coming to an end here, but you have a great day. Uh, Celsius Decker says, "Peace." Um, Kevin Rose, DP Stupid, Sovereign Gold, all the stuff. Yeah, I, I presume you probably meant um, uh, circulated gold coinage would probably be a, um, a good example. But yeah, probably, um, what's it, New Mystic, um, what's that site? Uh, New, Mister, New Mister Coins is probably a good site um, to check out. They tend to have um, full description details of the weight, uh, thickness, gold con uh, content, the lot. Um, Southside Stacker, SMP, oh, of course. Uh, I mean, should take it out back. <laughs> Miss Tacken and Preppin, are you, uh, uh, are you stirring things up? Are you stirring the pot, as they say? Stephen Heath says, don't, don't get me started with bre Brexit. Oh, lol. Oxy88, I think the weights are 7.99 for a full sovereign, 399 for a half, and 199 for a quarter. PP Stupid says, yeah. Your mister is GD. David Carlyle, I had some crypto in my stack. I don't know what happened to it. Must have shrunk. I cannot see it now. Uh, hey, Oxy88, says, fire Cajun. Hey, Fire Cajun, welcome, buddy. Just me having some fun. <laughs> Southside Tacker says, at David Carlisle. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, Jamie, uh, Jamie's in the house. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Stephen, he says, what the hell? Ha, ha, ha. He has gone all posh. The Southside Stacker, uh, we finally got some gloves to wear in our videos. Before we touched things, a wife was confused when I brought them home. Um, she thought um, an inspection was too... <laughs> um, are you a, a licensed body inspector, are you, um, Stacking and Prepping? Um, hey, Pre-33 Collectors in the house. Fantastic, buddy. Um, let's have a look. Um, Five Cajun 9262. Hello. Welcome. Southside Stacker says, what's up with the accent, Limey, <laughs> is is putting on. Oxy88, lol, Limey, it's a creepy posh. <laughs> Stephen Heat says, uh, what are you cooking for the missus tonight? Um, you know what I'm thinking? A curry is probably in order. I think that would probably make sense. We've got Big Flip, Silver and Gold Flipper. Good evening. Um, it's great to have you here. Thank you very much. Jeez, we're, we're up to 17, guys. Stacking and prepping. Can you say bring a pot of gold and don't touch my rainbow? Can you bring me a pot of gold and don't touch my rainbow? Well, you couldn't read it out loud. <laughs> Fire Cage of 9262. Hey, buddy. How was your day going? You're welcome to review the playbacks. We were looking at uh, the silver charts currently, and uh, there was a couple of spot price deals that were available. You're welcome to go and check them back, uh, out back. Um, the state suspicion.
Yep, it's curry time, Sheffield. I think a korma is probably good. Obviously, as I'm vegetarian, I can't have a chicken korma or a lamb korma or a beef korma. It's just going to be korma. Um, how is corn doing these days? Pre-33 collector. Um, eventually got your your video started to work um, when I you sent me the new link. You've obviously updated the uh, the email address. Thanks for that. So I was able to check out your video there with those three slabbed um, pieces. Um, Oaksy88 says, I'm thinking that there could be a housing crisis in the near future. A lot of people investing in property like it's um, cert. But if the economy goes south, no one is filling the houses and landlords. Well, funny enough, the property prices here in Dublin are just ridiculous, man. Um, a, a lot of people can't afford to buy in Dublin just because of the average cost of a house. They're looking at 500,000 euros, which is probably about $600,000 uh, for a house, which is probably, you know, three bedroom, three bedroom, one bathroom in some cases. Um, the Irish don't really do the two bathroom thing. It's a very old um, style house. So if you have a look, a majority of the properties there, unless they're newly renovated, it's very rare to see them with um, two, two bathrooms. Stacking and prepping. Uh, if you could pick any coin to have in a pot of gold, what what coin would it be um you know it's if it was one coin oof, um i'd say the queen's beast one ounce lion let's call it that um so the queen's beast uh one ounce lion um have you guys seen the price on that coin jeez that thing is ridiculous it's like 500 over spot or something for that uh for that coin uh, Oxy says that we'll be having uh, trouble making the payments. Um, yeah, I suppose when you're um, when you're when you got a house at that sort of value, just imagine what the monthly payments are going to be. Uh, corn is awesome, my, my good friend. Uh, thank you, stacking and prepping, Sheffield Stephen Heath. I think we need to open a GoFund page for Southside Stackers Capsule Fund. Capsule Fund. Yep. Uh, best place to go and buy capsules i buy all these capsules i bought from china um uh, they're a fraction of what the dealers uh cost are and um i like to buy capsules cheap i don't like to spend the money that majority of the dealers charge you for a flipping capsule and then on top of that um you know it's just it's just overpriced for a bit of plastic um i mean some of them aren't 100 percent great i mean if you have a look at this one here my ases I mean, it's still pretty good. Pretty good quality. But, um, yeah, they sort of gels together. I mean, it's all right. It does, a, does the job. Um, Stackenbrook says he wants to buy a house, but those would require me to work a couple of corners. That hasn't worked well so far. Um, yeah, stacking and prepping. Um you might want to up your game a little bit. If you're trying corners, maybe try hotels and bars and stuff like that. If you want to maybe, you know, you'd probably be able to target your market probably a lot better um, if you were to go into those sort of places uh, rather than street corners. Uh, because, you you know, you tend to pick up anybody, you know, at least with uh, with, with, with bars and, uh, you know, and hotels and that. You've got a certain level of clientele that you're probably, you're probably aim for. Uh, definitely worth a look. Um... So I bought a second-hand lighthouse. Lighthouse caps, good quality, excellent. Uh, long, careful, limeys. Some are so cheap that they're not tight. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, Southside. I don't throw my stuff across the room, and then go, "Yeah, that's a really good quality capsule." It's in the capsule for one reason, you know. It's a. It's it's not really going to fall off, uh, other than right there. But I mean, when it's in your hand, you're not holding it by the by the one side. You're holding it with two fingers, so the chances of it actually falling off are pretty zero, well, like zero, unless you're actually throwing it across the room. Barbara's here. Hey, Barbara, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Fun and games here as usual with the usual crowd. Um, Stephen Heath, obviously with the uh, with the flowers there. Um, I could learn. I could learn you good. Okay, that's um. You haven't found the right pimp. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Sasai Saka says, uh, you haven't found the right pimp, stacking and prepping. Uh, obviously, you could learn some skills there from Southside. Probably explains where he gets his silver from. Um, let's have a look. Um, we got a big, big flip, silver and gold flipper. Just received my sheet of 2019 one ounce pandas and a panda gold slab. Uh, we'll post a video later. That sounds great. I'll check that out. In fact, let's just go to your channel now there, Big Flip. I'm actually not subbed to you, Big Flip, so consider yourself subscribed right now. Um, I will definitely be checking that out, buddy. I see you use your business card as your... Um, as your image, very nice, or your tile. All right, so anyone uh, who hasn't been to Big Flip, go check them out. Um, let's have a look, sorry, just getting back to the chat there. Um, Oaks here, it says, uh, let the sex dolls do the hard work, it's a future. Hmm. Um, <laughs> How it explains where all my money... <laughs> oh, it explains where all my money comes from. <laughs> well, you just said that uh, you know, Stacking and Prepper can learn some moves from you. I mean, you got to put one and one together. I mean, you said it. Um, Golden Company. Hey, Golden Company, how you doing? Thanks for thanks for dropping in. We're up to 17 watching, which is great. We've got 19 likes, so two people have dropped in. Silver Heist. Silver Heist, how you doing, buddy? Silver High sent me through some uh, some coins in the in the last um, unpackaging. I'm, I'm going to be showing them tomorrow for the last episode for the year for Coin to Coin. Um, so I look forward to showing them. Um, Southside Stacker likes to have a bath with his bullion. Uh, a bit a bit strange, a bit of a strange lad. Um, have you done a video of that yet, uh, Southside? I'd be keen to do that. Fill up your bath with silver. Get in. I'm sure that I'm sure that you'll get. I'm sure that's a, uh, that will go viral. Uh, Oxy88 having a good laugh. Um, Stacking Prep says, I wish my sex doll talked uh, to me when she just doesn't talk. Okay, right. Um, <laughs> Barbara has a good laugh. Um, Mary Love, oh, kids and kids in the room here. Okay, that is a, that is a good point. Can we uh, just watch the language, people? Um, Silver Heist, I'm great. My wife uh, writes. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like that too. I like the feel of silver. I've gotten like, a, I normally get my AS, ASEs out and then you're, you know, you're sort of just the, the sound of it. Oh, that's definitely a tight one. Steven, Steven, Steven. It's your favourite coin here, buddy. It was your favourite coin you even cracked and even bought. Just love the sound of that. It's got a particular... I presume probably gold sounds a little bit um, um, a little bit different. Have you tried the uh, the ping test? Now, apparently, you can get these readers that will tell you exactly what coin it is based on the noise it makes. Guys, please watch the language. Stacking and prepping. Yeah, nice, nice, uh, nice, nice ping to it. So yeah, I occasionally get um, a few of these in and just run them through. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered uh, to, if if these get scratched or not. It's a bullion coin, so not really, uh, not really too bothered. Stacking and prepping, you're my mod, and so is Southside Stacker. Do you know what that means, guys? You know what responsibility comes with that? If there's bad language, you guys know what to do. And if it's coming from you guys, then I need to act. <laughs> uh, 
let's have a look. Um, nice ping, yeah, absolutely. Um, I've seen those ping readers. I actually downloaded downloaded one from my phone, but the the ping readers got selected bullion pieces. So literally, you can't test them all. Like same with Morgan's. The Morgan's have got a particular ping node um, a node to it. So when you ping it, it'll then pick it up. Uh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> what if the bad language is coming solely from SNP and me? Well, you know what? That is uh, that is a good point. Um, you don't have to wear gloves with those ACs. I totally agree. Uh, it's a bullion coin. Anything that is just a bullion coin, I couldn't um, I couldn't be bothered, really, to be honest. Um, collectible coins, slightly, slightly different. Uh, what if the bad language is coming solely from... <laughs> so he's basically asking me... If the bad language is coming to from me, what are you going to do about it? Well, it's quite straightforward. Uh, a timeout is probably uh, a good thing. Uh, we've got 20 watching the minute, which is great. So we broke the 20. Um, Stacking Prepping says, I apologize. That's great. Yeah, the uh, the chat was going off a bit. Mary Love, thank you very much for pointing that out. You also have the authority to time these people out. <laughs> so not just me. Mary Love, if you feel like uh, the chat is is going ridiculously um out of out of control you know what to do and mary love hey they are reading the chat with you um clever coin hey clever coin clever coin awesome buddy yeah i'm gonna be on clever coins channel on saturday which is great i'm so looking forward to it um it, it yeah it's it's uh it's fantastic i can't wait actually um clever coin i'm excited i'm just counting the days go by but yeah i'll be on clever coins channel uh this saturday um thanks very much for the opportunity as well clever coin uh mods can't mod mods <laughs> i can't mod. i can't okay all right well I, I initially wasn't aware of that but hell i'll have to time you out so just take note guys just respectful in the chat please Clever coin will do a great interview. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the way his questions are done. Uh, they're pretty straightforward, um, so it should um, it should be pretty good. Um, I was hoping I'm still waiting on another two packages, uh, but it doesn't look like they're going to be coming, which is unfortunate. They've obviously been lost in the post. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um, is anyone collecting any copper any any copper rounds? Any copper rounds, anybody? Uh, Clevercon, we were just um, talking about the spot price earlier on. You're welcome to go back um, and check out uh, what we're looking at the graphs. And then we were also looking for the spot deals. Um, you're welcome to check those out. Steve Neat says, uh, press one if you think Silver Limey should sax outside stack. <laughs> I'm sure he was, uh, oh yeah, man. I, I... <laughs> oh, um, see, I, I think Steven's the troublemaker majority of the time, steering the pot. Um, you think, um, what was that? Something about clever coin there? Sorry, I'm just going through the chat, stacking prepping clever coin, blah, blah, blah. Uh, really love saying everyone's saying hello that's great outside this is uh this is ireland not new jersey <laughs> <laughs> yes i have copper mary love says that she's got copper that's great anyone else got copper pre-33 collector says i'm only collecting copper pipe um i often thought about actually you know getting the old wires down and get one of those one of those furnaces and start doing some copper rounds because it's the cheapest form, essentially, and probably the more accessible form of precious metals. When I mean precious, you know what I mean. Um, I'm, you know, copper isn't necessarily a precious metal, but it's called a precious metal. But it's like, you know, forty-one cents an ounce. Um, but it's um, it's more accessible than than silver. Like you can pick it up anywhere. Um, which is another interesting point. You've um, with the abundance of copper out there, it's ridiculous the amount of copper. Yet it's forty-one cents an ounce, right? But um, 
silver not necessarily more readily available but it's currently fifteen dollars which i think it should be based on that alone just the the amount of supply of copper in the market and that it's only 41 cents an ounce the amount of supply of silver in the market is clearly undervalued uh that's what i think and just based on uh on resources um what's that? stacking prep says corn i am collecting uh, pvc pipe <laughs> I think that's the next big thing. <laughs> uh, Sheffield Stephen Heath, uh, troll maker, pure has has driven uh, snow me. Um, I've got one dislike, and I probably know why that is. So deservingly so. Um, thanks, guys. Um, South South Stacker, Mary Love, we can talk now. It's uh, an asking question when you're ignoring it. Um, I think Betty White will be will be on the plastic coin. Um, I don't think there's going to be much of a market for that stacking and prepping. Um, but good luck, buddy. Um, sorry, what question I missed there? That's what Mary Love said. Uh, we've got... Silver Wolverine. Silver Wolverine. Welcome, buddy. How are you? We were just having a look at some silver charts there earlier on. And uh, we were having a look at these silver spot price deals, which are currently available. So you're welcome to scroll through um, if you want to check those out. Uh, baby G, um while watching okay that's cool sorry um how you doing there silver wolverine south side we can talk now let's be nice we're just going to ignore it and get uh you think uh they will make a gold asc with a picture of 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 a corn well, I suppose anybody could already. I suppose you could uh, just melt some gold down and make your own round, technically. I just wanted to know if you could see the chat because I wanted to know um, if what I'm writing matters or if it's just the fact that Limey reads it loud. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just shouting out the chat, guys, um, if you're happy with that. Um, let's see. Anybody, um, anyone got anything new currently? Now this is, um, I'm going to be doing a Canadian series of coins soon. So this is a one and a quarter ounce. I don't know if anyone has seen these. These are 2016. It's a one and a quarter ounce uh, silver silver coin. Four nine silver. Lovely bison detail there. Um, I'm going to be doing a Canadian series of uh, of coins in the uh, probably next year really. But um, there's Queen there's Queen Elizabeth II on the back. Five dollars. Quite a nice piece that and then i picked up the um it's the 2019 kangaroo a lot of people think uh well that coin is a bit of a joke but i must admit the radial lines on that are just fantastic even though it's a fairly boring piece um very nice indeed uh readed edge on it as well the same diameter as the ASE as well oddly enough so 40.6 millimeters you know lovely detail queen elizabeth ii i love the way the uh the necklace they they've got that sort of frosted details on um around the shading uh, shading areas thanks barbara field guy 316 got himself into trouble by the looks of things Mm. 
and timed out by Mary Love. <laughs> oh, what was he up to? I don't know if you guys saw this. I did a review on this uh, beginning of the year. Um, it was probably one of my first um, reviews I did. Um, it's one of the combi bars, and uh, I opened it up. I just thought I'd show it to you guys. Um, these are the individual one gram bars that I've uh, given away as well, done in my giveaways. Stephen Heath seems to think the uh, the kangaroos are better than the ASCs. <laughs> Look, I'd probably say in detail. Uh, when you guys see the next Continental Challenge um, uh, series for next year, uh, I've thrown in uh, a lot more um, detail in regards to the vote. So um, it's going to be a very interesting series next year for Season 2. Uh, that's the Val Camby Swiss. Little one gram bars. Lovely, yeah. And that's the assay or the signature on it as well, certified assay. Snap me a piece of that candy bar of silver, silver heist. <laughs> yeah, did you guys have a look at that bison? Lovely, one and a quarter. Yeah, I was at um, Stacking Prepping says, reminds me of a Hershey bar. Wow, that's interesting. You actually get Hershey bars here as well, odd enough. Um, Silver High says, snap me a piece. Uh, we got South says, that clever coin, not much. I'm being spanked <laughs> by Mary. Um, Stephen E says, kangaroos are better than those damn ACs. Um, wow, 18. That's awesome for a day stream during the week. Congrats, buddy. Thanks very much. And, uh, what did I miss? I think he's pretty much all caught up. Yeah, nice one, Limey, says Bob. Looks like John's on his way out. John Wolf dropped in. Damn, I missed that. Time to head back to work. Take care, all. Stephen Lee says, got about 100 ounces coming next week. 100 ounces coming next week and you've reached your target. <laughs> Why would you buy more? Um, unless you got it at a good price. I tell you what, have you seen some of those deals on... Um, the stacking nerd had a lot of stuff there that she was going through and uh, the deals there were you know buy um 100 ounces 100 ounces of canadian maple leaves i mean i'd love to get a monster box uh, order that in that'll be fantastic let's have a look there's a troll who went and disliked every vid i ever did hmm, shame field guy 316 Oh, it looks like probably an earlier message there. Um, oh, three dislikes now. Okay, what is the problem, guys? Um, just going to refresh quick. Yep, 20 likes and three dislikes, oddly enough. Um, 17 watching. I know you, not, you can't necessarily win them all. Um, serious question is there a box of Lucky Charms in the grocery stores there um, no but you can buy them a lot of the um, a lot of the sort of boutique shops offer that sort of stuff so you can buy Irish Lucky Charms um, Silver Heights says uh, don't hurt you same as three up David Carlisle hit the like button I'm sure everybody has Mark B can't wait to see uh, what 2019 brings us welcome buddy um, it's only the tiger for the year of the tiger that's interesting um, because uh, Stephen Heath says because I'm greedy Silver so, well, Army 79 I just want more well I tell you what if, if Silver was at a good price and you got a whole bunch for 100 ounces then did you buy a bar or did you buy individual pieces um, Stephen Great idea, Oxy. You need to go back to that. Oxy says, I'd like to see a satire lunar series like Bacon for the Pig. Maybe um, a picture of a Chinese dog meat festival for the year of the dog um, and a proper controversial. Um, Stephen E says, I'm looking to get you fights outside. <laughs> Uh, 
clever coin all right i have to go well cl clever coin thanks buddy i think you left already but uh, appreciate you dropping in guys um pretty much um gonna call it a day myself i've got 22 likes though which is great uh I've got five dislikes wow okay that's probably the most i've ever got in a video but um Dislikes mean little like me. Yeah, I suppose it's just a mentality thing. I suppose when you look at it, it just looks negative. Um, can't say my year of the sheep idea. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the title, guys, that people are going in expecting something else, and then it turns out that it's uh, or expecting it to be a certain thing, and then because I noticed on the last one I, I did as well, there was a uh, there was a different perspective on it. So I don't know when. If it's just people going in and thinking, oh yeah, let's go and check it out, and it's not what they want. Um... <laughs> if I engage in troll, trolls will be trolls. Yeah, I suppose I mustn't really look into it, I suppose, if anyone... I mean, guys, if you um, if anyone is, and I'll, I'll put it out there, my email address is on my channel. If you guys um, ever feel the need to, you know, say something in regards to content, I'm open. So drop me an email. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to be pointing fingers at anybody, but if it, I believe that people can learn from mistakes. Um, so if anyone has any, you know, negative or anything negative to say, drop me an email and then um, we'll work through it. Second prepping, um, should I invest in diapers for my far future? On that bombshell, guys, uh, the, uh, the episode's coming to an end. I just want to thank you all for joining me. <laughs> Mark B, you're, you're very kind. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank you all for coming in to come and join me on this on this episode. Um, I hope you hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I'll do it again live wise, uh, but I might do the coin to coin series tomorrow. I might do that live. Um, it depends on what time of the day. I might just do a recording and just upload it. But uh, guys, thank you very much. Um, good good talk, Oxy88. Uh, Thanks very much, Southside Stacker. You know, man. You're brilliant. I enjoy you anyway. Uh, even if uh, even if we're just messing around. Um, yeah, my uh, yeah. Um, my wife just got in, so dinner's got to be put on. Um, otherwise, she'll be getting the whip out. Uh, <laughs> it's that uh, it's that time of the evening. Um, so sorry, Stag says this was a fun stream by me. More 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 cowbell, please. By everyone, cheers, fire fire Cajun. Uh, guys, if if there's people, in, new people in the chat, all I ask you is just to check out check out the, their uh, the channel, hit them with a sub. I think some people have been here long enough as well. Um, Silver Heist, have a good afternoon. Yeah, thank you very much, Barbara. You are correct, Southside. <laughs> uh, Ladies, um, thanks, Stephen Heath. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate you all. Thanks for dropping in and uh, spending an hour joining me on this uh, on this episode. Um, I look forward to another series. Um, of videos thanks again barbara i might stream in a few hours line well i'll tell you what if you're if you're going to stream in a few hours outside i'll definitely uh i'll definitely it's going to be rated r <laughs> uh, so uh yeah you're probably gonna have to watch out for the kids then buddy uh although i suppose i think after 10 o'clock it's pretty much a uh, fair game isn't it sorry 10 o'clock my time Yeah, Barbara says, uh, SS, you're always our raised. Raised triple R, says Mary Love. Mary Love, thank you very much. Thanks to my mods for dropping in. Stacking Prep, and thank you again. Guys, it's been fun. I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.